I mean, do, do you like speaking a word over your life? I don't know about you. I love prophesying over me. <laughs> Amen. I love prophecy. I love, I love singing prophecy. Every song we sing, I'm prophesying. Can you shout amen? That's what the Bible says. Sing with melody in your heart. The Bible says sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs. That's prophetically speaking stuff over your life. Can you shout amen? It's, you you got you to gotta speak over your own life. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. You're going to have to believe God for your own life. Can you shout amen? Uh uh huh. You better stop waiting on everybody to prophesy over you. You better get a word and put it in your own mouth. That's good preaching right there. You better get a word and put it in your own mouth, and you better get God's word, put it in your own mouth, and then say it over your own life. Now, God will send a word of confirmation. You say, Well, thank you for the confirmation, God, but I already knew that you're going to bless me. Can you shout amen? You got the death and life is in the power of the tongue, your tongue. Amen. Not the just shall live by his or her faith. Can this out? Amen. And you better give your faith some ammunition. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. Can this out? Amen. So anytime you stand up, you singing these songs, these, these, these scripture songs. Amen. These scripture songs. Amen. We, we, we sing. I don't, I don't sing no song that ain't no word song. I, they can sound good if they want it. Everybody can sing. But if there ain't no words on, I ain't, I ain't finna entertain it. Amen. I need to have a word song. I need to have whatever we sing to coincide with the word. Amen. So it's like David said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Let, amen. Let the words of my mouth, amen, the meditation of my heart. Other word, Lord, don't let me be saying things out of my mouth that my, my heart ain't, ain't, is not in cohort with. Amen. Let me, whatever I say out of my mouth, my heart got to be in cohort with. Can you shout amen? So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, God, my strength and my, my redeemer. How I many know he's my helper? Amen. He's my helper, and I can't, I don't know. I, 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 I can't make it without him. Can this out? Hallelujah. Said that, that we should offer up to God the sacrifice of praise with the fruit of what? With the fruit of our lips. Amen. Uh, offer up to God the sacrifice of praise with the fruit of our lips. Can this out? Amen. He, amen. He's the best thing ever happened to me. Thank God for his amazing grace. Hallelujah. Amen. I bless him right now. His will is going to come to pass in my life. Can this shout amen? God is going to come to pass in our lives. Can this shout amen? Got to walk on that word, Jeremiah 29 and 11. That's a good verse of scripture, isn't it? Amen. Amen. He's, he's, he's already spoken destiny over our lives. I don't know how you feel about it, but my head is up. Amen. My head is up, and, and I know that whatever God says is coming to pass. Amen. Amen. Whatever God says is coming to pass. Amen. For we know that all things work together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I dare you to tell somebody, say, it's, it's working for my good. Tell them it might not feel good, but it's, work. it's working for my good. Come on. Now look at the white heaven and say, God, show me the good out of this. Let me do your will. Amen. Even in the midst of adverse times. Hallelujah. Because I know if I do the will of God, if I do, amen, joy coming in the morning. Amen. I might not like doing it, but after I do it, joy cometh in the morning. Can you shout amen? I might want to do something else, but joy cometh in the morning. I believe, I believe. Well, point out your neighbor said, God got his best in mind for your life. Tell him again, God got his best in mind for your life. That's all you need to know. You don't need to try to try to figure God out. Just know that he's working good out for me. Hallelujah. Can I get anybody to preach with me? He's working good out. He's working some stuff out in our lives. Can this out even man? He's working good out in our lives. He's working for our good. 
Can they shout hallelujah? It's working for our good. On Sunday. Sunday. And the same way that I preached on Sunday, we had pastor's fellowship. And I started sharing with them what we talked about and preached on Sunday. You know what I'm telling you? Tell my bishop, get me that tape. They said, Bishop, get me that tape. And that Sunday, I told y'all it was a revelation from God. I told you it was a revelation from God. I told you God is getting ready to do some abundant things in some people's lives. I told you God is getting ready to bless you with finances. You need to prepare your heart and your mind to get ready for God to bless you. Let me tell y'all something. You, I, I ain't going to let nobody be sitting around me and stop me from getting my blessing from God. Boy, my, I'm, I, uh, I'm like a pregnant woman about to have a baby. Can't tolerate nothing. Y'all women, come on, come on. Acting all foolish around me. I'm, I'm hurting. You better get on. I'm trying to bring this baby here and you acting a fool. Get on. Move. You know, the people be getting around, you be trying to get something done, and folk act like they don't know nothing. You don't see how big my stomach is? Amen. And then you got people just like that, so unspiritual in church. Here I am trying to get something from God, and you can't even sit your behind down. I'm trying to hear a word. Move. Stop whispering to me. Move. I'm trying to hear a word from the Lord. Stop trying to get my attention. I'm trying to have a baby him. I know how my women should be I'm trying to have a baby here. I don't start dilating and you acting a fool. Yeah, this thing hurt me. Amen. I ain't got time to be playing. Amen. I'm trying to get what God got for me. This thing bringing pains to me. And you sit right here lollygagging. Amen. Don't you let nobody stop you from receiving from God. If you receive that word on yesterday, you act like you got abundance right now. You act like you hold your head up and you live. It, it, it might not have manifested itself yet. You just look around telling folks, say, God, prepare me for my abundance. So I ain't finna act crazy. You don't need to be messing with me. I'm about to have this baby and my water them bust. So the neighbor say, push, push. Man, this thing bringing pain. You sitting right here acting like, hey, I ain't got time for that foolishness. I ain't got time for all these distractions. Amen. Distractions coming everywhere. Yeah. And, and then you can, amen, somebody. I need to receive what God has for me. I believe that word was for us. That, amen. Can this out? Amen. I dare you to turn around and say, I'll never be broke another day in my life. Tell them, say, because I'm going to do it the way God said do it. That's right. I'm going to do it the way God said do it. And God keep giving me a word. How many know the word to keep you on track? I'm not just haphazardly talking and talking. No, the word going to keep me on track. Can this out, amen? Don't you know we got kingdom things to do? We got things to do for God. While we're here on this earth, we got things to do. Can this out, amen? I don't know how y'all feel about it, boy, but I meant what I just preached then. I'm, man, I'm about to have a baby. You right here cutting up. So, right down the baby, you tell your husband, say, don't, don't rub on me now. Get on out this room. Come on. You, uh, and then you ain't got time for nobody rubbing on you. Tell about he feel it. You feel what? I feel the pain. And I'm about to have this baby. Are you hearing me? And you got some people all around you feeling all on you. Don't feel on me. I'm hurting now. I don't need you touching me. Let me have my baby. Stop trying to distract me. I need to have this baby. All of me need to be here for me to have this baby. I don't need to have my attention all over here and all out there. And the enemy want to set up distraction. Amen. Because he want to try to he want he want to try to cause a miscarriage. Say amen. Yeah. So you you know if, if you believe in what God said about your life, stop allowing. People to come around you acting like they, still, they ain't heard nothing been said. Sat in church in April, they broke mind. Mentality. Come to church and be messy. Get out. I'm believing God for my abundance and I know it got to come supernaturally. It's going to come supernaturally. He done told me all the way that he's going to bless me with, but I know God got, got to do it and God got to raise up people. He's going to have to raise up the people to bless me. Amen. He's going to have to give me favor. I got to pay attention. 
and there you making all this fuss and call me to miss out on the people that God done put in my path. God can give you a word right in the midst of the service. Amen. He can, give you a, he can give you a word right in the midst of the church tonight. But you come out to church, you ain't your mind ain't set on nothing. You just him. Because it's Tuesday. It ain't anything. Man, man, when you come out, I'm, I'm getting a word from the Lord. Because I know in order for God to do what he said he's going to do in my life, this thing got to be supernaturally done. And if, I'm a, if, if it's going to be supernaturally, I got to follow the supernatural pattern. I need to follow the pattern. You can't, you can't have supernatural in your life if you don't follow the supernatural pattern. Amen. Amen. If it's supernatural, I got to wait till the Red Sea open up. Then I got to walk cross on it. You got some of the people, come on, let's swim cross it. God told me, uh-uh, I'm going to wait till it open up. God told me it's going to open, I'm going to wait, I'm going to walk cross on dry land. Can this out, amen. So I need a word from God. He didn't tell us to build no canoes. He didn't tell Israel to build no canoes. He said he's going to walk cross on dry land. So we had to sit there and we had to wait. Even though they were looking and they saw Pharaoh um, is coming. They saw the enemy coming on them. And you know Pharaoh was coming to kill them. They saw the enemy coming. But they, they couldn't just run and jump in no one with no canoes. They had to sit there while the enemy was coming and wait on God. Don't you know I ain't got the time to be having everybody get my attention? The devil trying to kill me. Trying to stop me from receiving what God wants me to have. I got an army trying to kill me. The devil done sent his own army after me. Amen. Then, I, then somebody in the congregation, they sitting right here worrying about bite biting. I ain't got time for that foolishness. You mad because somebody done made you mad. Get it. I'm trying to get. Do you not know when a woman having a baby, they ain't got time to be worried about nobody mad at them. You be mad how much you wanted. These pains got my attention. Amen. Man, when we start understanding that, that if we're going to receive what God has for us, man, we got to stay focused. Can this out? Amen. You just got to stay focused. Hey, hey, it ain't nobody way but your way, Father. Can this out? Amen. And, but, but I was we were sharing, and when I was sharing about what we was teaching on Sunday, and say, they told me, say, Bishop, can we have that tape? I said, yes, sir. I, I talked to, talk to Tammy, and we'll see, can we get you a copy of the tape? Do you not know it's sad when the people of God don't believe that God wants to bless them abundantly? Everybody don't believe in healing. Preach good. Everybody don't believe that God can deliver them. You got some people don't believe in deliverance. They don't believe God can bring you out of anything. I believe I know I got some people that here know that God is a deliverer. <laughs> and he can bring you out of anything. He can deliver you. I say he can do it. <laughs> I say he can do it. Go ahead and tell somebody, say, I ain't got time for all that foolishness. Just, 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 I'm, I'm expecting God to do something. Can this out hallelujah? Now, if you ain't expecting God to do nothing, you'll, go, you'll put up with any mess. You'll just put up with anybody, anything. I ain't going to be putting up with anybody, anything. You don't set your fan in iron, I know something. Getting all in the way trying to stop me from receiving from God. I know you don't mean that, but I'm going to have to put you in your place. Hey, I'm trying to get this thing from God, and I don't need to be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some things ain't even worth my, ain't, ain't even worth my attention. Come on. When you're trying to get something from God, then he, you sitting right here worrying about who ain't shake your hand. You don't want nothing from God. Amen. Man, when that, when that woman about to have a baby, she ain't worrying about who's shaking her hand. She got her mind focused on what that doctor's saying. And when you about to deliver something from God, you got your mind focused on what God said. You ain't got time to sit around and be worried about all these Joe Blows. If you don't want it, then you ain't got to come to church. 
You ain't gonna make me stay home because you ain't gonna come. I'm gonna get what I want, need from God. Ain't nobody gonna discourage me. Preach y'all. You ain't gonna discourage me if I see you. Hallelujah. If I don't, I'm still getting what God got for me. Hallelujah. I believe God wanna bless me. I just gave you a good word to put in your own mouth. I believe God want to bless me. No matter where I am, I believe God want to bless me. If I live in Pahokee, Bell Glade, Indian Town, Okeechobee, West Palm Beach, River, wherever there, Fort Pierce, wherever y'all live at, I believe God want to bless me. And I believe God want to bless me with increase so he can get some glory out of my life. Tell that neighbor don't hate the player. Tell him God preparing me to handle success. He preparing me for the blessings. Not so if I'm lying, God saying, get your tongue under control. Now, if I'm manipulative, then get your attitude under control. Can this out? Amen. Prepare yourself for the blessing. Prepare yourself. You can't sit right here and say the same and then think that you're going to receive what God got for you. Can this out? Amen. That pregnant woman ain't stayed the same. She got bigger. Touch your neighbor and say, I'm about to have a baby. I feel heavy. <laughs> I know the men. This spiritual. We know here. Thank you, Jesus, for not having them natural children. Thank you. <laughs> I just had to throw that out there. Well, God designed y'all, man. With my, hey, my sisters and they. Man, God has well designed y'all. Glory to God for you. Hallelujah. My God, that's a miracle itself. When you think about the children you don't have, you ought to be shouting now. And that's something. God is a deliverer. When God, when you think about how wonderfully made you are, can this out amen? I preach then. When you think about how wonderfully made you are, and you ought to just go ahead and give God some praise. You ain't had to have that child. You still, you just wonderfully made. You are a woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I, when I, I'm, I'm up here now, and I believe the Spirit of the Lord is talking to me about, you know, about, about receiving what God wants us to have. Ain't nobody got time for that. About to have a baby, you messing with me about pedestal. Tell my what that's sitting up in church talking about that's ugly. What she I don't want to hear nothing about that ugly. She can wear grandma dress if she want them. I come to get something from the Lord. Amen. Amen. I get a little frustrated when people get in the way of me, me trying to receive from God. I'm purpose in my heart. I'm not gonna let anybody stop me. You can get on the boat as you want. The boat gonna sail without you. Amen. You, you're not gonna get in my life to try to pull me down. And I'm gonna love on you and pray for you and do all them things like that. But I will. I will not allow for you to hinder me for me receiving what God want me to have. Come on, man. Come on. Either I'm gonna encourage you and you're gonna get up and come on. Oh, I see you when you need to lay down and pray for you. Come on, come on. You got to get a, you get, you, you just got to get one of these nasty attitudes. To me, it was a question asked me while we were talking about it. And, that, 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 and the question asked me, say, say, well, Bishop, say, let me ask you a question. He says, he says, they says to me, say now, he says, what if, um, he said, what if, um, um, uh, what if a person, what if a person, they, they believe in God for, for their abundance? What if they believe in God for their abundance and, and then their life, you know, their life ain't, ain't, ain't upright with God? See, many people, see, in their life, you know, some people think because you in an area in your life where you haven't came up the part of God, and many people think God don't hear your prayers or God don't see your, princi your principles. Don't you know unsaved people is walking in principles? I, I got some white brothers that I know. I, they ain't saved, cuss you out, but they walking in principle. They walk up to me and give me money, tell me to put it in church. 
I, I'm talking about these people ain't saved. They ain't saved, but they, they folk pay their tithe like, like, like better than some of us that say. And you talking about God ain't blessing them. Yeah, God bless them. God bless any man or woman that walk in principles. You walk in principles, blessed is the man. Where you, say, Bishop, where you get that from? Psalm 1 and 1. Blessed is the man or the woman that walk not in ungodly counsel. That's not talking about being saved. That's talking about walking in principle. Blessed is the man or the woman that don't walk in ungodly counseling. I don't want nobody to give me no stuff that God ain't with. Abraham told, told him, Pharaoh and them, he said, don't, I don't want y'all to give me no money because y'all going to say God, because y'all going to say y'all the one that blessed me. No, I, I don't want to get no money from nobody that they're going to get all the credit for I believe God got a way to bless my life. So I'm going to do it his way. And I'm going to watch him bless me. Don't, don't need to hate the player. Because everybody can do it. Any man or woman that choose to, to believe God for their prosperity, you can walk in it. The principles is laid out for you to do it. Now, you're going to sit in church and ignore them. You sit in the church, you hear the same thing out here. Come on. Hallelujah. Ain't no be here too long. You hear the same thing out here. And you sit there and you not and you don't believe it. When people are not paying attention, they don't believe God want to bless them. They don't believe that God want to bless them supernaturally. We talked about a message, and, and you know, pastors was listening to the message that I preached here on Sunday.